Hi right, guys, I'm gonna be doing some Game Pass games now. Uh, so I'm playing this uh, Fortnite, and this is on the iPhone. Uh, let me increase the volume just a bit. Uh, so this is cloud gaming. Uh, if you wanna know how to do this, uh, how to get this actually initiated onto your phone, like on a bookmark thingy, uh, you need to use Safari when um, you're logging in to your Outlook account, you know, uh, when you're signing into your Microsoft account. And then basically what happens is uh, once you've signed in on there, I think it's actually Game Pass, isn't it? Or Cloud Gaming that you can do on uh, the Safari. Uh, then what you need to do on your screen, you then need to create a bookmark. And the bookmark is uh, called Cloud Gaming. It'll be automatic. It just uh, adds it to your screen. So you need to actually, you know, like when you want to share on uh, anything on the iPhone, isn't that there's, there's that share option? That's the same option you tap on. Uh, and then it will show you options. Right, so this is uh, Cloud Gaming. So the good thing about this cloud gaming is everything in here is everything I've got, uh, everything that I actually use uh, on uh, what you call this thing. That's wondering, can I just go back to? No, I have this other one. I don't know where that other one is now. Oh yeah, this one. Right, so this is cloud gaming uh, on the iPhone. So it's like Game Pass, but the Game Pass is not... Um, if you download the Game Pass app, that won't uh, get you into cloud gaming. That's why I said you need to actually... You need to actually use uh, Safari to log into your um, uh, Microsoft account. Uh, you know, you can just type in uh, cloud gaming beta and obviously uh, on Safari and then uh, log in and like i said there's that share option thing that you use uh you need to tap on that and then look for where it says look for where it says you know you need you need to find that option like when you're sharing and then it produces all those other options and it's in there that uh, you're actually going to get the option to add to screen to your home screen and the adding of that thing to your home screen i mean adding the cloud game to your home screen is what creates that little uh, app thing you know so whenever you tap on it it takes you straight into cloud gaming the only reason i'm actually demonstrating this with fortnite is because fortnite is a free-to-play game so i'm just saying it's uh it's far easier just to demonstrate it on fortnite because well, it's free to play, I don't have ultimate, and there's no way I can play any other game but Fortnite. Unless if I had ultimate, then obviously I'll be able to show you guys something else. But like I said, I don't have the ultimate one. If you've got ultimate, I think it's like $11. $11, maybe $20. I, I don't know how much it costs these days. Uh, but I think it's under twenty dollars. I think it's actually under fifteen dollars. It's not. It's not as expensive as you think. And I think if if you are willing to pay for the ultimate edition, and then obviously you get that one, and then obviously you can uh, play whatever games they've got advertised there. So if you're into Starfield, obviously you'll be able to play that. Uh, which one do I prefer using between this one and the Samsung? I, I don't want to lie to you guys. The, I, I would rather play, I would, ra I would actually rather play, I'd actually rather play, I would rather, rather play this game on the Samsung. Not solely because I, I can't play this on this, uh, I can't play it on iPhone. It's not that. It's, um, the the difference is oh wait, 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 the chest the the differences with uh, Samsung is that I can actually use a DualSense controller 
I don't have to hold the phone itself. I can just lay back on my bed and play this game. And I think that that has huge advantages. You know what I mean? So I would rather, oh my God. No, I don't want this thing. Right, I would rather play this game. I'd rather play this on the Samsung only because I can use a, a proper gamepad, a DualSense controller, which fits in my hand. And that means the entire screen of my phone isn't in my face all the time. So if that makes sense to somebody. So basically it's like, I, I, think, I, think, that's, I, I think I've explained it well. You've got the entire screen um, and I've got that phone holder thing that I've got my phone on. So one, I'm not even touching my phone. Two, I'm using a, a full gamepad to the DualSense controller, which is more comfortable. I can lay back on my bed and I can just play this game the way I, I really truly want to without ever, ever touching the, the phone. Just using the, just using the uh, thing, controller. And I think that is actually the better way to play this game. So I, I don't know about people, maybe people will be like, well, you know, I mean, it's an advantage as well. There's nothing wrong with playing this on your, on your uh, thingy. So I'm just trying to check this thing out. Only get this. Yes. The other advantages as well. Okay, I'll tell you the other advantages that I like about being able to play this on the Samsung. Uh, bigger screen. One, you've got a bigger screen. Uh, besides the bigger screen, the, the gamepad and uh, the DualSense controller doesn't need the cable. It's just, uh, it's all blue. It's all wireless, you know, because it connects via Bluetooth on the Samsung. Um, the other advantages. Yeah, I mean, the fact that I can just sit down on my bed and because it's on a phone holder, I can actually change the angles. So I, I'm not even touching the phone in the first place and I can change the angle. To, to my desire you know it's, it's like however i want it to show is is how it's going to show up but you you can't you can't do that you can't you can't do stuff like that uh with the backbone if you've got to hold the phone wait he's coming in i can hear people i can't see that So, what I'm saying is, uh, I, I hope I'm getting through to somebody. The backbone, the, the, the thing with the backbone is you have to hold the, the entire phone in your hands. And like right now, you like I'm getting tired now, you see. If this had this been on the Samsung itself, I, would, I wouldn't even be touching the, the phone. You see, the longevity of me playing the game, I would be playing this game longer on the Samsung than I would be on the iPhone. I can actually play this a whole day on the Samsung because I'm not even holding the phone. So one, there's no weight. The gamepad, anytime I feel, uh, you know, I, I need to take a, a break. I don't even need to stop the game, you see? I don't need to stop the game. I just need to take my break and obviously take my break and then come back, um, put the gamepad down somewhere. The game is still active, it's still on the Samsung. It's still Game Pass, you understand? And the other advantage as well, if, if I don't want to play the Game Pass version, I can still play um, uh, Fortnite Mobile. And that one does use less battery power. Uh, looks less of this one. It's not as good looking as this one. But, you know, if, if you are out and about and uh, you don't have an internet connection and you're using your own data, then obviously you're not going to do Game Pass because Game Pass will drain your data connection, won't it? Like your bundle will uh, finish much quicker if you're using uh, internet. I mean, the, the mobile one is just like an app, it's just like a game. So it uses less graphical power. I mean, y y you guys get the, you get the point of what I'm trying to say. Your battery on your phone will last longer. You're using less of the... Um... Damn, my aim is so bad. <laughs> I'm just standing there. I mean, oh, it's gonna snap. It's snap, it's snap. What the 
man. That is sniper, you know? There was two of them as well. Right, so basically, basically what, what I'm what I'm trying to say here is Okay, let me give the differences. On the back phone, it's nice. You have it on the iPhone. This is probably the only phone you've got, no problem. Oh, I'm trying to see this person. That's right for me. I might be tired. <laughs> I was I was playing called mobile and it was on. So you know. It's not the game lag, you know, anything. It's, it is playing really well. It's just, like I said, I've been playing games the whole day. After a while, you know, your body starts to ache a bit. That's why I'm trying to say that the, this, the advantages of some on my phone. I'll tell you the phone I've got. I've got the Galaxy Z Fold 5. It's affordable. So all I need to do is just place it on my phone holder. I never actually touch the phone. And then get my DualSense controller. Press the logo because it's already connected on Bluetooth, and that's it. That's all I have to do. And just put it on the phone holder, put it in the position that I want it to be in, and then lay back and just play the game, and that's it. Never actually ever touch the phone. You see? So I can do that for a much longer period of time than I can on 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 the iPhone. And I know what you're thinking. So what's what's up with the iPhone? Well, if I wasn't recording like right now, and I, I, even if, okay, even if I wasn't recording, making this video, um, the, the things that I find is holding, holding the, holding the iPhone in the backbone for extreme periods of time, like maybe after an hour or two hours of gameplay, you're definitely going to get tired. Just holding this, you want a break. I don't know if you're younger, if you're like much younger, you got more energy, maybe to be a different story for someone like that. But for me, it's, you know, I don't know if it's an age thing, but I just think you're gonna get tired much faster. I thought it was a chest up here. You're gonna get, you're gonna get tired much faster. You understand? Just holding the phone, it's, it's, it's gonna, gonna take its toll on you because you're gonna get tired it's, what's the, what's the, it's, it's gonna take its toll you know they're holding the phone the Samsung like I'm trying to explain my phone is affordable it's a Z Fold 5 so the advantages with mine, I feel, are more than with the iPhone. Because I'm not even holding the phone, it's on the phone holder. The DualSense controller is a full gamepad. It's in my hands. I don't even need to look at the gamepad to know what I'm doing. Because it's, it's like your brain's programmed already. You know where the, the D-pad is, the, the left thumb sticks and the, all the buttons. It's already, it's programming in your head, right? You don't need to look at the gamepad for anything. You understand? So. That's what I'm trying to say. With the backbone, you need consistently to be looking at the screen uh, because you're actually holding the gamepad with the iPhone in your hand. It also depends on the game you're playing. If you're playing a game you like, like Warzone Mobile, that's a different story. Because to me, uh, it's still it's still an enjoyable game. I can probably play that for. I'm just thinking of maximum hours, maybe. Maybe a good uh, three, four hours. Because the last time I played uh, was on mobile. I actually played it the whole day, and that was in the back room. So I think it depends really on the game you're playing. If you like the game, you might be more uh, resilient. So you might be like, oh, you know what? I love this game, and then it's a different story. You can you can actually adapt to the situation that you're in. But I think. I do think that um, the advantages on Samsung is that the fact that you don't hold the phone, one. Second fact, the fact that you've got a full gamepad in your hand, two. And three, the fact that it's in a phone holder and you can adjust the um, direction of how you want it. And four, the fact that you're actually in bed, resting in a good, nice position and looking at the screen. Those advantages mean you're gonna play any game you want on the Samsung longer. 
you understand? You're gonna play any game on the Samsung longer with the dual sense because you're not even touching the phone. The phone's not there's no weight. A gamepad you can just I can just put it on the side if I get tired, the game is still active. It's not I can even lower the adjust the volume on my Samsung. I got apps on it, I got certain things that I can scroll down on the sound and the game is still active and I just leave it like that. I go and I take my rest, I eat something, I drink maybe tea or something, I come back, I'm rested. I'm back in the game, put the volume back up, hold the DualSense controller, because it's not attached, it's uh, all Bluetooth, you know, no wires, nothing. And I just get back in bed, I, the phone is still in the position it's in, if I'm not happy with the position, I can even bring the phone closer, put my head up, and continue to play any game I want. Mostly that would be uh, games like, uh, I think, was on mobile, because you can use DualSense controller for that, on the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5, the game that doesn't work... You know one thing, I've not tried the DualSense controller called Mobile. Oh yeah, yeah, I have. Yeah, yeah, I, I talked about this last time. I have. Uh, the problem is it requires an Xbox uh, controller because it needs you to tap on the Xbox logo, which uh, <laughs> I don't know. I, I've tried it. I've tried it so many times on my DualSense, but it doesn't work. It won't work with Cord Mobile. Maybe I need an Xbox controller. I don't know. But anyway, was on Mobile works. That works. Uh, War Robots works, Dead Cells works, uh, Firelight 84 works with the DualSense controller, and Fortnite Mobile uh, works, the actual game works, and the Fortnite uh, from this Game Pass works.